In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the wide receiver short post play out of the gun trip side information in the Buffalo Bills offensive playbook. Now, the wide receiver short post play is one of the most unique plays in Madden 24, and I believe that it's only found in the Buffalo Bills trips tied in playbook, and the main purpose for us calling this play is due to the fact that it has one of the most unique post routes in this game. So what we're going to do for a setup on this play is we are going to zig our inside trips receiver. We are going to streak our tight end. We're going to flat our middle trips receiver, and then we're going to wheel our running back. Now, what you're going to see is, again, the main purpose of calling this play, obviously we hot-routed everybody else on the field, is because we're trying to take advantage of this post route on the left-hand side. Now, this post route on the left-hand side, we're going to motion this middle trips receiver across. We're going to snap the ball when he passes the numbers. What you're going to see from this little uh, post route here is it's one of the better routes at consistently being able to give you a read between man and zone coverage. It can actually beat both of those coverages. So first things first, I want to show this route specifically against uh, against uh, zone. You saw it there against man. When he cuts to the inside, you're going to throw it. What you're going to see is this zig route is going to pull these yellows down down and it's going to create this little window where you can throw it in behind the yellow zone defenders and like the curl flat defenders. This is one of the only post routes in the game that allows you to throw it in this window pretty much consistently against every coverage regardless of different adjustments. So what you see here again, here's cover three. See how the yellows aren't going to defend it and I can throw it again, again and again and again. We can literally throw that against cover three. We can throw that against cover four. Now, one of the coverages that has probably the best chance to be able to consistently defend this left-hand side is a cover two with vertical hooks and a mid-read defender, primarily a mid-read defender. But this is why we have the tight end streak and why we're motioning this middle trips receiver. I want you to take a look at the replay here. I have my match coverage set to on, and the, most of the time when you use a mid-read, the mid-read is going to defend these short post routes. But what you'll see right here is at the snap of the ball, this mid read defender is actually going to run to the tight end. So you see right at this point right here, he's kind of in the throwing lane where I would like to throw my post route, right? But what you're going to see is as this play develops, if you look, he's turning his eyes and he's turning his, his, uh, his defensive coverage responsibility to be running towards the tight end on the play. And a second he does that, we can now throw this ball backside to this wide receiver po short post route. The reason for this is because we we actually, by using motion, we are going to take the formation from being a formation that is strong to the left to being a formation that is strong to the right. Let me explain. If I was to not motion that middle trips receiver and I was actually to call the cover two, I want you to take a look at that left linebacker that is in the mid read. You're going to see that this time he's going to open his hips to the left and he's actually going to play this, this uh, post over the middle a little bit better. But whenever we are able to take the formation strength and put it to the opposite side, he now has to go respect that. And so because he has to respect the tight end seam streak, this is now going to leave us this massive, massive little pocket here underneath to throw this against the zone defender. Now, one of the more popular defenses that a lot of people like to run against trips tight end is they love to do essentially a double Mabel where they have two flat zones, but they also are going to have a vertical hook. In this situation, this is a great play call for any kind of coverage that is even resembling of that because what you'll see is this tight end streak is going to hit be able to be thrown right in the seam area of the field if they don't go to the right side of the screen with their user defender. Another route that we have access to to the right side of the screen is we are actually going to have access to this uh, underneath route to the running back. So what you're going to see here, same exact adjustments. And this this uh, tight end streak is going to open up this area where we can throw this running back. So you see here he's going to cut up field. We're just going to pass lead that down and inside. Not free forming that, just passing it down and inside. And it creates a nice little void against the cover two coverage. So because of those couple of routes that we just showed you on the screen, that the opponent is going to pretty much have to go to the right side of the screen at the snap of the ball, either to guard the tight end or the running back or both of those receivers. So because they have to really respect what we're doing on the right side of the screen, it is going to significantly open up this really amazing route on the left side of the screen. So as you see right here, it gets wide open in this little pocket, and it's really just one of the best ways – to attack really any defense that people are going to use to defend trips tight end. Another thing I wanted to quickly point out about the double flat or double Mabel coverage. This is another reason why we're trying to streak this tight end up the field, because a lot of times what people are going to do is they're going to have a, a deep half defender. They're not going to have a deep third. And if they don't have a deep third on this, if you watch this running back, you can actually throw this 
really late in the play over the top of that defender. So let's say they have an just absolute amazing user and they drop all of these zone coverages all over the place. That is a, a late read that we actually have access to that's really, really effective. Another key to this running back route is against man coverage. A lot of times against man coverage, uh, as soon as the running back kind of cuts up field, he has the potential to be able to get over the top of man coverage, at least worth the look, even if you don't actually end up hitting it. It's just something to kind of look at over there on that left side. And then uh, another thing I wanted to show you real quick is this kind of coverage right here. This is a really popular uh, trips tight end adjustment where they basically are going to try to cross man pretty much everybody on the, tri on the trip side. When they go to something like this, if you watch this left side, this post, this sharp post, when he cuts inside, a lot of times um, he actually, a lot of times he actually beats him. He didn't beat him there. A lot of times he will actually beat him, especially if you have uh, the route running threshold. The route running threshold, I believe, is 85 on all Madden and it is 90 on all pro. So if you have a receiver that meets that medium route running threshold, a lot of times he's going to be able to beat this cross man adjustment. As you see right there, a little bit better of an animation when on that little sharp cut to the inside. So this wide receiver short post play, short post play uh, is really one of the best plays in the entire game. It is able to beat man. It is able to beat zone. It really opens up a lot for your trips tight end offense because the zig route really takes the yellow and the flat zones out of the way, and it really opens up for this post route. If you want to get my entire Bills offensive playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description for that. We broke down trips tight end as well as some other supplemental formations in that playbook. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, make sure that you guys go check out the Patreon at the description down below.